Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Century Eastern Wonders. So it's been a year since I did my original Gainsplanation for Century Eastern Wonders. Have I played it? Do I still like it? All of these questions will be answered. So the reality is I haven't played this one in the last year by itself. The third one in the series, so we have Century Spice Road, Century Eastern Wonders and Century A New World. The third one, A New World, incorporates the other ones into itself. Just like this one, Century Eastern Wonders, incorporates Century Spice Road into itself to create another game called Century From Sand to Sea. Now, I have played the combination games uh, to work out how that all works, but I haven't come back to Century Eastern Wonders. I haven't come back to Century From Sand to Sea. Both of them live in the same box, so I'll talk about both of them as we come through. What I noticed was when I did play them that the Sand to Sea version, for my mind, worked easier. It might have been just that it was using some of the mechanism from Spice Road to help it along. And so because I know Spice Road quite well, it was very easy to then use that manipulation to help me move things along. There's something about the boats in the ocean going from port to port, 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 that just, it, 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 it came at the same challenge from a different angle and just did my head in it. So look, out of the three games, I think this one is the weakest. That's just my personal opinion. I much prefer to play the other two. But, you know, some people really like this version of the game as well, and so that's absolutely fine. The, if you actually prefer this one to the other two, please comment below, let me know. I, I would love to hear from you, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. This version, I, it just seemed a little bit contrived, is probably the best way to state it. The dependence on how things are set out on the table means that your game's gonna be different every time, which is great, but sometimes you'll end up having to work really hard to do something relatively simple. Sometimes you'll find all the stuff kind of sits next to each other, so it's really easy to do that stuff in terms of the swapping from one type of cube to different types of cubes, etc., etc., uh, which is the basis of the Century Games. They're all on this, I need to trade these cubes for these cubes and doing trade back and forth till you get to an appropriate amount of the appropriate color cube and then turn them in at the right spot for points. And look, I, I don't know, there's something about that, just the movement of the ships that just uh, I, I wasn't a huge fan of. I much prefer to play the Spice Road version of just having cards and go bang, 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 bang. Because I think that's what Century is. It's a filler game. It's in this space. Whereas adding these other versions makes them a little bit more thinky and it's not quite appropriate for what the opinion of this type of game is. Uh, I think that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. It's not a bad game, don't misunderstand me, it's not a bad game at all, but it's not quite as good as Spice Road, and it just might be because it's trying to do a little bit more, and Spice Road just sits and plays comfortably. Yeah, look, I'll leave it there. Please put your thoughts and opinions below. I would love to hear from you. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Gamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.